Conduct disorder is a disorder of childhood and adolescence that involves a group of behavioral and emotional problems which can occur at the age of 10 to 16 years. It is characterized by a persistent and significant pattern of conduct in which the basic rights of others are violated or rules of society are not followed. A child with this disorder may display disruptive and violent behavior and may have great difficulty following rules and behaving in a socially acceptable way. Children who have conduct disorder are often hard to control. They act impulsively and also they don't take other people's feelings into consideration. These behaviors will cause significant impairment in his or her social, family and academic life. Conduct disorder has an onset before the age of 18. It is more common in boys than in girls and most often occurs in late childhood or the early teen years. Causes of Conduct Disorder The exact cause of conduct disorder is not known, but it is believed that a combination of biological, genetic, environmental, psychological and social factors play a role. The following factors may increase your child's risk of developing conduct disorder, child abuse or neglect, genetic defects, brain defects, injuries or epilepsy, traumatic life experiences, parental rejection, substance abuse by parents, family conflicts or broken homes, family history of mental illness or conduct disorder. Conduct disorder is often linked to attention deficit disorder, mood disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance abuse or learning problems. The type of conduct disorder is decided according to the age at which symptoms first appear. There are three types of conduct disorder. Childhood onset. Signs of conduct disorder appear before the age of 10. Adolescent onset, signs of conduct disorder appear during the teenage. Unspecified onset, age at onset is not known. Symptoms of conduct disorder vary depending on the age of the child and whether the disorder is mild, moderate or severe. Symptoms of conduct disorder generally fall into four categories and children often get diagnosed after symptoms continue for six plus months. Aggressive behavior. This includes bullying, threatening, physical violence, use of a weapon, physical cruelty to people or animals, and forcing someone to perform a sexual act. Destructive behavior. This involves deliberate fire setting with the intention of causing serious damage and destruction of property. Mm -hmm. Deceitful behavior. Lying, shoplifting, breaking into someone else's property with the intent to steal. Violation of rules. Violation of rules may include running away from home, often stays out at night despite parental objections, skipping school without good reason or being sexually active at a very young age. Diagnosis A professional may interview the child, parents, teachers and other adults involved in his life to rule out possible causes. The assessment process should include history taking, observation and discussion with the child and family and including a complete medical and family or social history. Treatment Children with conduct disorder usually require long term treatment. However, early treatment may slow the progression of the disorder or reduce the severity of negative behaviors. Treatment for conduct disorder is based on many factors including the child's age, the severity of symptoms and can be provided in a variety of different settings depending on the severity of the behaviors. Treatment usually consists of a combination of psychotherapy and behavior therapy to help the child learn healthier and more acceptable ways of thinking and behaving. Behavior therapy and psychotherapy are usually necessary to help the child appropriately express and control anger. Therapy are effective for helping both the child and family. The child's family also needs to be involved. A child learns a better way to interact with the world and the family learns the best ways to communicate with him. Parent management training is a specialized therapy which can help the family understand the problem teaches parents ways to positively alter their child's behavior in the home and rebuild the child-parent relationship. Cognitive behavioral therapy aims to reshape the child's thinking to improve problem-solving skills, moral reasoning skills and anger management.
Family therapy may be used to help improve family interactions and communication among family members. Various medicines may be used to treat some of its distressing symptoms as well as any other mental illnesses that may be present such as ADHD or major depression. If the child is displaying symptoms of conduct disorder, it is very important to seek help from a medical professional. Children with conduct disorder are also at risk for developing other mental disorders if left untreated. These include school related problems, injuries to self or others due to violent behavior, sexually transmitted diseases, antisocial and other personality disorders, mood and anxiety disorders, substance abuse and suicide. Thank you.